Do you wish you knew what was going on in the Phoenix real estate market? <laughs> well, so do I. Well, actually, I do know. I'm Mike Zahn with eXp Realty and Mike Zahn Homes. And today we're going to discuss boots on the ground, what's happening in the Metro Phoenix real estate market. So without any further delay, let's get right to it. So first of all, let's talk about the numbers. In August, the median sale price was about $500,000. In July, it was a little bit above that at 520. There's some normal up and down, but this is the first time it's really been down by more than say five or $10,000. The number of active listings is up over 18,000, 18,364 to be exact. That compares to July where we had 15,037. What that means is that with the prices coming down somewhat, that's a result of inventory going up by 20%. That's a big jump in inventory. And for buyers, that's good news. For sellers, it brings some, some uh, softening of the market. There's 18,300, or I'm sorry, 8,378 homes pending for sale right now, as compared to 5,800 last month at this time. So what that means, we're actually selling more homes. They're come down a little bit in price. We have more to choose from. People are buying up more homes. Kind of makes sense. The average days on market is 34 days in August versus 36 days in July. So actually have sold a little bit quicker, but probably not noticeably because let's face it, three months ago, they were selling in two or three or four days, not three or four or five or not two or three months. And today it's taking a month, sometimes two months to sell a home. So let's talk about boots in the ground. What's really happening in real estate here in the Valley. First of all, as a listing agent, when you put a home on the market, several months ago, you'd put it on the market at say two, 3% higher than the last similar uh, type of home sold for. Today, if you put it that high, you're gonna end up reducing the price. Frankly, if you put it 1% over what the last home sold for, you'll probably still wind up reducing the price or just waiting longer for it to sell. So that's where you're seeing a lot of the price reductions come on, on board. You're seeing realtors, sellers, overestimating what they can get for the home and then coming back in and reducing the price. They're not necessarily dropping it way below what the last one sold for, but they're dropping it back towards what the last one sold for. Maybe a little bit less, maybe around the same, maybe a little bit more, but in that general range. The days where you could get one, two, three, four percent more than the last home that sold, those are gone. The same with the days on the market. The days on market have come down two days out of, you know, from 36 to 34. That's really almost noise statistically. But what it's telling me is that, you know, three months ago, we were selling things in a week. We were selling things in two weeks. It wasn't taking a month or two months. So that's a definite change on the market. For sellers, you can expect things to sit on the market a little bit longer. For buyers, they're gonna be on the market a little bit longer, which gives you time to look at more homes. There's more available look at what your options are and make an offer on your favorite choice and realize if your favorite choice doesn't come through, you have choice number two available to you. Hey, if you like what you're hearing here, go ahead and go down into my uh, description below, set an appointment with me, a discovery call on our Calendly link, and we can take some time and discuss in person how this is all relating to you and your personal situation. So what else is happening other than the days on the market and, and, and more choice? I think that's a big part of it is more choice because it used to be a home would be on the market and I say used to be three months ago, a home would come on the market and you'd better make a decision that day. And if it doesn't have everything you want, why be so choosy? Just get a home because you probably on average were making three or four offers on a home before you got one accepted you don't have to do that anymore. You make an offer on a home, if it's a good offer, they'll accept it. If they don't accept it, you can either negotiate with them or you can move on because there's another home you probably liked almost as much, if not just a little bit more, and maybe you can get the price on that down a little bit. You can get prices down in today's market. That's a big difference. It used to be three months ago, prices that a home sold for were above what they listed for. Right now, the prices that a home sells for are at or slightly below what it's listed for. That's a huge difference for buyers and makes a, a, a big difference in terms of, you know, what kind of homes you can be looking at. So 
That's really what's happening here on the ground. You have people that are willing to negotiate on price, whereas before they didn't. Sellers are not pricing it as high as they used to, and if they did, they're having to come down in price, and you'll see price reductions in the marketplace. And, you know, like I say, the home's gonna be there if you don't wanna make a decision right here and right now. Oh, and as a buyer, guess what? You're not offering to waive the appraisal, you're not offering to cut the uh, inspection period down, you're not offering to make no repairs, you're making a clean, reasonable offer, just like we typically do in the real estate market. So anyhow, I hope you found value in that. If you have any questions, you can contact me. You've got my information right down here below, or you can look for all of the homes for sale in the Metro Phoenix area on this website right here. It's updated every five minutes. I'm Mike Zahn with EXP Realty and Mike Zahn Homes. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in my next video.